hey hello everybody so in the continuation of our uh, earlier program right where we were trying to send our data uh, sensor data from arduino to arduino using esp now protocol so this was esp32 and this was the sender side and the other side we had used uh, arduino and the receiver esp32 so in continuation to that i would like to now present you show you how we can achieve the same functionality between Arduino and Raspberry Pi and especially Raspberry Pi 4. So you see that this is our Arduino system here. So Arduino is connected to ESP32. So here in this case, this Arduino is our, the sender where all the sensors will be connected to this Arduino and this will be our ESP sender. So all the sensors are when connected to this Arduino, then the data is read by this Arduino and then uh, captured by this ESP32. And then this ESP32 will do a, will initiate the ESP now protocol, which then uh, this entire, uh, entire sensor data read by this ESP32 will be sent back to our another system, which is at our left hand side. So you see that at the left hand side, we have our Raspberry Pi computer here, 2GB RAM. And here we have our ESP32 and this is our Raspberry Pi. So you can see that this is our Raspberry Pi 4. Let me quick zoom in. Yeah, this is Raspberry Pi 4. You can see and which is connected to our ESP32. In this case, this ESP32 is actually receiving all the sensor data using ESP32 uh, ESP now protocol. And uh, the moment it receives the data, you can see blue light glowing in. So let's wait for a couple of seconds and let's see the blue light again. So when it will turn blue light, you see when it blinks two times means it is receiving data from our uh, sender. And this is the Raspberry Pi connected to this ESP and all the data which <coughs> this ESP receives using ESP now is like fed to Raspberry Pi and then we can connect any any screen, any serial screen, any LED screen or anything where we can actually see uh, what the data is sent from our sender. So now let me quickly show you how it works uh, in our screen. So uh, this is our, uh, the sender screen. So this is uh, the COM port which is connected to our Arduino system. This COM 11 is the Arduino system. All the sensor data <coughs> read by this Arduino is shown to the screen here so you will see like every after five seconds it is reading the data sensor data and all this sensor data the value of different parameters it is sending to esp32 uh, the receiver side uh, means the raspberry pi side so you can see that it is sending the data now let me uh, at the same time now i will open the screen for our raspberry pi what we see here let me open the receiver raspberry pi screen the red screen which you are seeing here, this is our uh, receiving side uh, from Arduino, whatever it is, it has received from Arduino. So you can see that uh, the data which it is sending, uh, Arduino is sending, and the value it is sending like uh, ZZ33, D1, DH. So all these are the temperature, humidity, uh, the soil value, LDR value, different values it is reading, it is sending, and the same we are receiving at this side. Let, let's see. Let's wait for one of the data, live data coming here, and we will check whether it is coming correctly or not. So latest data, what is received was, let's say, M12064. And let's see at this side. So you see this M1 has been received at the same side. So let's see the lifetime reflecting both the sides. Yes, 2599. You can see this, this whole sensor data is sent from Arduino and at the same time it was shown here in Raspberry Pi. So again now new data has come. This is the new data in Raspberry Pi uh, received sent by our Arduino. So you can see like it is quite possible to make uh, to build systems like that where Arduino can be sending data to Raspberry Pi using ESP now protocol using ESP3 and if you will check uh, the codes and all so all the code structure everything is uh, like as usual what we had uh, already done in our past uh, so it shows uh, like uh, <coughs> the system is foolproof and working as expected there is like uh, uh, no issues there should should not be any issue if you are implementing it correctly if you face any issue or have any challenges you need any help support or anything you just you can just let me know so uh, uh, like uh, <coughs> keep experimenting new things and 
keep uh, making good products projects if you face any issues difficulties need any help you can anytime connect with me in the next practical i will uh, bring some more you know, complex uh, like uh, you can say uh, structure something like that where we'll be uh, using different uh, different protocols different sending mediums will be in, uh, sending data across different microprocessors so that also is quite uh, possible uh, with the system hope uh, this is uh, understandable and you have got something from this video so okay thank you so much for your patience and let me know for any help you need and subscribe to my channel thank you so much